this. Today's video, I decided to go ahead and show you guys how I get ready at home to take photos for Instagram. I ordered about a month ago this like phone tripod thing for my camera. I ordered about a month ago this mount for my phone to put on my ring light so I can take self timer photos and not have to depend on another human being to take time out of their day to come do it for me. I recently got to try it out about a week ago with my friend and it was literally the best thing ever and now I'm very excited to do it myself. Hope you guys are excited to hang out with me today. If you decided to click on this video, obviously you were drawn to me for a reason. This was obviously meant to pop up somewhere on your screen. So just take a moment to just really think about that and think if you should subscribe. Or if you decide not to, that's fine too, whatever. I'm first gonna start with my hair, which I honestly don't really know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna wash it hopefully tonight and I don't really wanna put heat on it because I'm gonna end up washing it. So this is kind of what we're <laughs> working with. I think I'm gonna go past the blow dryer through it just a little bit to kind of tame maybe the front pieces. This is like a full on like mom. Wait a second, doesn't this kind of look like Monica Geller from Friends, like her haircut at one point, or was it Rachel? All right, let's go figure out how we're gonna style this hair today. Not quite sure if there's much faith to begin with, but we will figure it out. If you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel, then you would know this is like the new angle that I like to vlog at. I have like an image in my head of what I want these photos to come out as. Like I already have the outfit picked out of my head and like the poses I'm gonna do. And honestly, the hair is not very important. Like it's not gonna be the main factor, you know, which is why I don't really want to style it. So I think we're just going to pass the blow dryer and then maybe style it up with like front pieces maybe braided or down. Like I kind of just want to put it up in a clip, you know, like a messy, I'm like imagining like these pieces all down and then the rest of my hair just like pinned up or like a really like messy pony. I feel like that's what I'm looking for. I don't own any clips though. That's like the one trend I'm very behind on are those big like claw clips. I don't own any, but I think my mom might. So we're gonna go raid her bathroom. And she actually has my blow dryer that I need anyways, so. Hello, we are now in my mom's bathroom. I don't know if she'll be mad at me for filming in here because it's kind of messy, but we've got the brush. I know she has some because growing up, I would always see her wearing them. Which is really weird and funny how now they're like a trend for current generation. She doesn't have like the basic long ones. Okay, why do I literally look like this? Yeah, I don't think she has anything else. We're just gonna take this one and try it out. Like I said, I've already have this like image in my head of what I want these pictures to look like. And honestly, everything above the neck and up is minimal effort. But let's try out this hairstyle. The photo that I actually wanna take and like the pose I want to post for Instagram, my head's not even in it. What's the point of really getting myself ready? I'll wait for an answer. If you said there is none, you got it right. I figured we'd make a video out of it. I don't know, I haven't done like a get ready with me in a while. I love getting ready on camera. I love talking to you guys. I just thought it would be fun to kind of hang out while we did this. So sit back and relax and enjoy the show. That was like five minutes of just kind of blowing through it. I'm just gonna take these front pieces and leave them out. We're gonna pull the rest of the hair. I kinda wanna leave it like very messy. I love you have never put my hair in one of these clips before, so I honestly don't even know if I'm doing this right. So I think you just twist it like that. I don't even know what this looks like. Did I do it? I have like no hair. I feel like I could have done a little bit higher, but I kinda like that. When I said minimal, I think this is as minimal as it gets. Kind of vibing with this. It makes me look like older, like sophisticated. Part one is done. I'll see you guys for the makeup in a little bit. I'm home. It is now time to do the makeup. I had to redo the hair a little bit because it was falling out. I still don't think I have this whole hair clip trick down, but I mean, we have something going on. Why? I feel like I look like a bowling pin. Do you guys ever look at yourselves and just think like you look similar to like an inanimate, inanimate, 
an inanimate object. Inanimate? Why does that doesn't sound right? A non-living object. Comment down below what you think you would be. I just full on had like a brain circuit there. Let's do my makeup. I keep procrastinating because I don't know what I'm doing. I have this random ass MAC eyeshadow. And I think I kind of want to use it because it kind of goes with the look or the vision of makeup that I have in my head. I'm going to start off with just doing my like my... Bleh. I am having a hard time today. I'm just going to start off by doing like my normal everyday makeup. I do this in every single video that I ever post where I'm doing my makeup. It's literally the same exact products, the same stuff. So nothing different. It may be a new year and I may be trying to become a new better version of myself and my makeup is the one thing that remains the same. We are going to use tons of primer because my face is freaking out right now. Should I spit out my gum? I feel like it's rude to be chewing gum while filming. The foundation that I've been recently obsessed with, I've only used it a couple times, but the couple times that I have used it, I find that the coverage is phenomenal. It is the Tarte High Performance Natural Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I was kind of skeptical at first because first of all, I have the, sh I will always want to say shark, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I've talked about this before on the vlog channel, where I think the coverage is amazing. It covers up my veiny under eyes, but at the same time, it can be kind of thick and cakey. Like, I don't like the texture of the product because it feels kind of heavy. So I was worried when they came out with their Shape Tape Foundation, it was going to be the same exact thing. But with this being like hydrating, supposedly, it's surprisingly a lot lighter on the face. So with the amount that I wear, with just the amount of coverage I want, I don't feel like I'm being weighed down by foundation. With this specific in order for me to get that like light dewy look i do have to use a beauty blender which is something i have not done in forever i switched over from using a beauty blender a long time ago to just using like a basic foundation brush and just kind of swirling it into my skin and i realized only certain foundations work like that with this one specifically it works best when you use a beauty blender if you use it with a brush it you do get that like cakey feeling just a heads up i'm gonna wet my beauty blender with a water bottle because i don't want to get up don't even act like you don't do this For those of you guys who are not subscribed to my vlog channel, you may not know. I've had some life changes recently, so I'm just going to kind of fill you in, like not really go too much into detail, but kind of get you caught up for those of you who don't know anything about my personal life. Recently, with the new year, I quit my part-time job and I picked up school full-time. I'm in college, like five classes, full schedule, and I am now just focusing on school and YouTube. So life has been kind of an adjustment. It hasn't been all that easy as I thought it was going to be just because there's a lot of changes, you know, that just come with just quitting a job. Like just the routine of, you know, being used to going somewhere from like nine to five to like now having seven days a week where I am in full control. Whenever you change any sort of routine that you are used to for years, it's like a shock almost. So I kind of went through like a high for a moment where the first week I was like on top of the world, so excited, so motivated. And then the next two weeks after I kind of crashed. It's like I had to start genuinely from like scratch all over again that was kind of rough i was kind of in like a depression hole for a little bit there i talked about this on my vlog channel i'm very open over there so if you want to feel like we're friends that is the place to be you would think that once you finally get something that you've been wanting for so long you wouldn't feel a certain way anymore and i actually wrote this down in my journal because it like blew my mind. We tend to think that once we achieve a certain materialistic item or once we get to a certain level, we think once we get to that point or whenever we get something, we will feel happier, we will feel fulfilled, we will just overall feel better. I've realized that that is not the case. For the longest time, I've had this idea of success and happiness mixed up. I think it is possible for happiness and success to be related in some sort of way, but at the same time, I'm over here doing everything and having everything that I have ever wanted since I was 15 years old. Like, I have everything I've been asking for since I was 15, but yeah, I was so upset still for two weeks, and I was very frustrated. Like, how is it that I finally have everything that I've ever wanted, and I still feel this way? That kind of got me thinking, like, beyond the matter of happiness does not always line up with items and things significant moments that you think are going to just instantly like change your life and make you feel like a better person like it has almost no relation at all and that's just the gist of it like that's a tiny little bit of like what i was thinking and feeling for these past two weeks last time i really sat down and talked to you guys i realized was my painting with me video which was a couple months ago and i was actually talking about the fears i had of failing and my future and going back and watching that video now i still feel like i resonate with a little bit of what 
what I talked about in there, but overall you can kind of sense the doubt that I had in myself then, which I mean is fine because now that it's been a couple months I can kind of go back and watch it and see like, damn, I don't feel like that anymore, but it's weird to see me at one point feel like that and that shows growth. I'm getting a feel and a grasp for this like new life that I've got going on. I'm giving myself until I pretty much graduate college, which is in like seven months. Like I graduate at the end of summer. I could literally throw up thinking about that, that I'm about to be done with college. I'm gonna have a bachelor's, a bachelor's in interdisciplinary studies in like six or seven months. I told myself, you know, by the time I graduate, I'm gonna do a checkpoint, see where I'm at in life, what have I accomplished, what is it I'm gonna do next. I'm trying to focus on the now and see what is it I can make for myself. And then by the time seven months come and when I graduate, we'll see where I'm at and see if this path is the right one for me or if we need to change it up and figure out something else. We just had like a full on moment. Do you guys feel connected to me? If this is your first time clicking on a video of mine, you literally just got the whole entire thing handed to you on a plate. It's like we're basically best friends now. So I just finished doing foundation and concealer and honestly, if you can tell, the coverage is phenomenal. Now I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows. Lately, I've just been going back to my original roots, just filling them in with eyeshadow because I kind of like the messy eyebrow look that we got going on. Truth Really, I ran out of my pencil that I usually use and I haven't had time to go get a new one so I'm just settling for this. Now I'm taking some Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara to set my eyebrows. Ah! My foot is purple! Oh my god, I've been sitting on my foot for so long it's literally purple. Can you guys see it? I'm censoring that. You guys are not getting that content for free. I'm gonna take this on like a little fluffy one and just kind of... I feel like it'll look really pretty once I'm like out in the sunlight, you know? I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown color and put that like on the outside and underneath my eyes to maybe darken it up a bit. My eyeshadow brush just broke. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm gonna take the same brown color and put some on my lower lash line maybe to darken up. I'm gonna do some mascara. Corvette, Corvette. My eyelashes are looking pretty good today. So maybe I'll include my head in these pictures. I feel like I'm getting ready to go out somewhere, but truly this is like the reality of life now where we get ready just to kind of sit at home and take self-timer pictures. How weird is it? Like the times that we are living in, our social skills I feel like are gonna be forever impacted. The way we think of socializing now, I feel like is gonna carry out for a very long time. I will go out to Target to pick up my groceries, not even like go inside, walk up and down the aisles like I used to. I order my stuff through an app, I go and park in the parking lot, and they come to my car, they drop it off. The interaction is bare minimum, and yet when I come home, I feel like I have conquered the world. Like, I'm like, wow, I socialized today, like I got out of the house. It's just wild, like, to me that before socializing would be like going to an amusement park or going to a concert or somewhere just crowded, and now it's like, when will I ever see a concert? When will I ever get to use my two freaking GA tickets to see Harry Styles? I have two tickets to get drunk in the pit of his concert and I have been waiting and by the time I get to see him I'll probably be 23 or 24 he'll probably be married for lips I've been doing this like brownish lip combo which you know I'm still very impressed with myself that I've gotten this far to wearing lipstick this lipstick that I've been using is from Sephora I got it for Christmas it's like one of their like lip stories and the color made in Italy how relevant I've been trying to teach myself Italian for quite some time now got some yet to that not really working out and it just looks really nice. Like, it honestly looks like I did nothing. But in person, it's kind of like a neutral brown. Makeup is done. Let's now move on to the outfit and cross our fingers that it comes out right. Do you guys ever hate when you put together an outfit in your head and then you go and try it on and it just looks like trash? And then you realize it's not the outfit, it's you? I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. In my head, I pictured either these flared jeans. These are like high-waisted. I haven't worn them much besides once, so I pictured either these or I have these Levi's that I got in Texas at Urban Outfitters. But the only problem is I am on my period right now, which means I am very bloated, depending on how I'm feeling and if I can get these buttoned, well, I will wear them. They're also kind of like a more neutral blue where the other ones are like a dark blue. So I, I might honestly go with these if they fit. T-shirt that I imagined is this one. No, nope, that's the wrong shirt. And then the t-shirt that I imagined with 
either pant is this one. I have had this shirt for so long. I've never photographed it. Like I've never posted an Instagram picture in it and I love it. I love the font. I love the simplicity of Cherry Baby. I don't know. It reminds me of Harry Styles also, Cherry. I mean, ugh. And then I also pictured it with these sunglasses. So like outfit, sunglass, leaning over with like a statement purse, you know what I mean? I have like a yellow backpack, which maybe will work. And then I have these boots, okay? These are from Steve Madden. I just recently got them. I'm gonna try on the Levi's first and we'll see what it looks like. I'm really hoping this looks good or else I'm just gonna give up and get into bed and cry. I like it. Honestly, it's giving me Friends vibes. Will these fit? Mm. I just need a purse. I have this freaking Union Bay yellow backpack. I feel like everything's very neutral and then you have like the red and the yellow. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it, you know? This is honestly kind of working. We now just have to take the pictures. Guys, am I actually gonna get some content today? To kind of show you guys, this is what the mount ends up looking like. I just set my phone up like this, and then I can twist this around. Dog is outside pooping. We're just gonna do a little time lapse, hopefully get some good pictures, and see what happens. Photos are coming out actually pretty good. The lighting is like spot on right here if you can tell yeah as far as like posing at home and tips and stuff um i just kind of do whatever feels right so some of my favorites are arms my number one favorite is one hand in the pocket shielding yourself from the imaginary sun well in this case there's actually sun usually i will do like this and i go like this Why are you right in front of the camera, dude? I always recommend getting a prop of some sort, so I love having sunglasses. So in this case, I would take sunglasses and I will put them like, pretend like I'm fixing them. Or you can do like a lifting up kind of thing like this, you know? Sun is now setting. I finished taking my photos, if you guys saw. So to kind of give like an example, pretty much when I'm taking the pictures, I kind of just go with the same like four-ish poses. Like my go-to one is always the one where one hand's in the pocket or I'm grabbing something on my hip and then I use my sunglasses on my head as a prop. There's also one where you're shielding the sun from your face. One that I've recently come to love is like the arms behind your back. I find that when you do like a little lean forward action, you know, if you're wearing like a tight little Mm -hmm. Then it looks cute and then of course look over the peach. I kind of just bounce around I also like to experiment with poses. This was definitely a success and I got some really nice photos If you guys want to see them I will have my Instagram on the screen and link down below. Other than that Thank you for hanging out with me today. I think we got some nice content We spilled some tea got you guys caught up on my life, but in the meantime That is all I have And peace out